consider the rules from 4, 8, 11, 12 to find the common factors of the So last time, yung last natin na dalawang grid. It's all about divisibility rules by 2, 5, 10, then 3, 6, 9. So this is the third one. So first rule, divisibility rule for 4. If the last two digits of a number is divisible by 4, then the original number is divisible by 4. Ibig sabihin, kapag ang dalawang digits sa huli ay divisible o pwedeng i-divide sa 4, meaning divisible by 4. Kahit gaano kalaki or kalakahabang ang digits. Next is, also a number ending with two zeros is always divisible by 4. Kapag ang number ay nagtatapos sa dalawang zero, magkasunod ang dalawang zero automatic divisible by 4. So let's take an example. So is 812 divisible by 4? So titingnan natin, ano ba yung last two digits? The last two digits is 12. So 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So walang remainder meaning 812 is divisible by 4. So ibig sabihin din, the common factors of 812 are 4 and 3 and also 2. Second example, is 1,300 divisible by 4? So the last two digits of 1,300 is 0, 0. So the solution, automatic, 0, 0 is divisible by 4. Rule for 8 or divisibility rule for 8. If the last three digits of a number is divisible by 4, then the original number is divisible by 4. Kasi kanina, divisible by 4 ay last two digits. In divisibility rule for 8, last three digits. And also, a number ending with root zeros is always divisible by 4. So example natin. Is 12,184 divisible by 8? So the last three digits, 184. So 184 divide, divided by 8 equals 23. So we can say also that the factors of 184 is 8 and 23. Next, is 12,000 divisible by 8? So as we can see, the last three digits are 0. So, automatic, three zeros is divisible by eight. And also, eight is a factor of 12,000. Let's talk about the visibility rule for 11. Subtract and add digits in alternating pattern. Subtract first, add second, subtract third, and so on. Then the number, or then the answer must be zero or divisible by 11. So, unahin daw natin, subtract yung mukha tabing digit, subtract is minus, then add, or plus, then ulit, palitan. Unahin ng minus, then add. Minus, add. Okay. Sample, 1,364 ang given natin. So, subtract first, 1 minus 3, then add, plus 6, then minus. 1 minus 3 equals negative 2. Hindi na. Hindi 2, kundi negative 2. Since, mas malaki ang 3 sa 1. So, negative 2 plus 6. Negative 2 plus 6. Magkaiba, negative at positive. So, magiging minus yan. So, negative 2 plus 6 equals positive 4. Parang nag-minus lang tayo. Or nag-subtract. Dahil mas malaki ang positive, so, ang gagamitin, gagamitin natin na sign is positive 4. 4 minus 4, the answer is 0. Since ang answer natin ay 0, automatic 1,364, yes, divisible by 11. Example number 2, 913. So, 9, subtract minus 1, then add, plus 3. 9 minus 1, 8, plus 3, 11. So, sabi natin, 0 or 11 ang sagot, meaning divisible by 11. Next, 3,729. 3 minus 7 plus 2 minus 9. 3 minus 7, so dahil mas malaki ang 7, magma-minus tayo. Magiging negative 
4. Negative 4 plus 2, magkaiba. Minus and a negative and positive. So, gagawin natin, susubtract natin, 4 minus 2. So, magiging sagot is 2. Ano mas malaking given number? Positive or negative? So, negative. Kaya magiging sagot, negative 2. Negative 2 minus 9. So, negative 2, magiging dahil pareho sila, na minus. So, magiging plus yan. 2 plus 9, 11. Then, copy the sign. Negative 11. So, negative 11 or 11 is divisible by 11. Also meaning, nito, ang given numbers are, one of the factor is 11. Last sum, 987. 9 minus 8 plus 7 equals 8. So, 9 minus 8, 1. Plus 7, 8. So, 8, hindi siya 11, hindi siya 0, meaning, it is not divisible by 11. Nakukuha? Next. Divisibility rule for 12. The numbers divisible both by both 3 and 4. So, it passes both 3 and 4 rules above. So, alam naman natin na ang factor ng 12 ay 3 times 4. So, kailangan pumasa siya sa divisibility rule by 3 and divisibility rule by 4. So, ano nga ba ulit ang nating rules ng divisible by 3? If the digits divis divisible, if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. And then 4, kapag ang dalawang huling digit ay divisible by 4. Sample natin, 648. So, apply natin divisible by 3, sum of the digits. So, 6 plus 4, 10. Plus 8 equals 18. So, ang 18, we divide natin sa 3. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. So, yes, it is divisible by 3. About 4. So, ang last digit ay 48. 48 divided by 4 equals 12. So, nakapasa rin sa divisible literal by 4. Both pass. So, meaning 648 is divisible by 12. Oh, I hope nakukuha natin ang ating pinag-aaralan. Another example, 524. So, divisible, is it divisible by 3? So, add natin, 5 plus 2, 7, plus 4 equals 11. And as we all know, 11 divided by 3 is 3 remainder 2. So, hindi siya pumasa sa 3. Automatic, kung hindi siya pumasa sa 3, 524 is not divisible by 12. Kahit hindi na natin i-check ang divisibility rule by 4. Tingnan natin kung meron tayong naintindihan or na uh, nakuha sa pinag-aralan natin. Let us answer the following questions by yes or no. Question. Is 3,685 divisible by 11? Three minus six, negative three, plus eight, equals five, minus five, equals zero. So what do you think is the answer? The answer is yes. Next question, is 8,844 divisible by 12? So, kailangan natin malaman kung pumasa siya sa divisibility rule by 3. Let us add the digits. 8 plus 8, 16. Plus 4, 20. Plus 4, 24. Is 24 divisible by 3? Yes, 24 divided by 3 equals 3. How about divisible by 4? So, the last two digits, 44. 44 divided by 4 equals 11. So, meaning, it passed by 4. If it is both divisible by 3 and 4, meaning, is 8,844 divisible by 12? The answer is, 
Yes. Next question. Is 1,648 divisible by 11? pag natin. Okay. Tama ka. The answer is no. Why? So, 1 minus 6 equals negative 5. Plus 4 equals negative 1. Minus 8 equals negative 9. So, sagot natin ay hindi 11 or 6. So, the answer is no. Is 164 divisible by 12? Pag-isipan natin. Okay. Correct. Your answer is no. So, tingnan natin. Is it divisible by 3? 1 plus 6, 7. Plus 4, 11. So, no need to answer or divide by 4. Four thousand six hundred seventy-five divisible by eleven, and the answer is yes. So four minus six, negative two, plus seven, positive five, minus five. The answer is zero. I hope may natutunan kayo about divisibility rules by four, eight, eleven, and twelve. Thank you for watching. Again, this is your teacher, Carmi. Don't forget to like and subscribe.